In this video, I'm going to explain who is the father of accounting. If you're an accountant, there is one man who has influenced your job more than anybody else. And that man is Luca Pacioli. And he's become known as the father of accounting. This is a little piece of accounting history that is very important to know about and understand. So I'm gonna spend this video talking about who Luca Pacioli was and why it's important. You have to understand the timing of when Luca Pacioli lived. So Luca Pacioli was born to a poor family in Italy during the Renaissance. And what happened during the Renaissance was a transformation in business. Italy had all of these coastal cities. And these coastal cities became important trade routes across the Mediterranean. And what happened was these cities became many economies. And this was a big contrast from the Dark Ages or the Middle Ages, because at that period of time, all the wealth was, con was controlled by monarchies and kings and queens. And in the Renaissance, we see the emergence of wealth in merchant families. Um, this was a transformation in business and all of this economic activity required accounting. So Luca Pacioli lived during this time and he was an accountant for a number of these wealthy families as well as a teacher of accounting. The reason Luca Pacioli is known as the father of accounting is because he wrote the first accounting textbook. And what's so incredible about this is the way that he describes accounting is very much how we do accounting today. So he lays out the entire system of double entry bookkeeping. And some of the things that he talks about are he describes debits and credits, he describes journals and ledgers, he describes the financial statements, he describes year end closing process, and a whole lot of other things. Luca Pacioli didn't invent these things, but what he did was he gathered together all the best practices of accounting of his day and put them all into this book. And what that did was it standardized the profession of accounting and spread these ideas throughout the business community. So I just took a week of vacation from my job. I took a week off. And because I'm a crazy accountant, I spent that week studying the manuscripts of Luca Pacioli from the Renaissance. And I sat down and I read these manuscripts and it's really interesting um, because Luca Pacioli's writing is so much more than just accounting. And so what I wanted to do with you today is share with you six insights I had from reading the work of Luca Pacioli. The first insight is that accounting has an interesting connection to the art world. What's interesting to find out is that in his early life, Luca Pacioli became friends with the artist Piero della Francesca. Now, Piero della Francesca was one of the great artists of the Renaissance, and he was a real innovator in the area of perspective and how to paint things in three dimensions. Now, if you know a little bit about art history, this was a radical innovation at the time. Before the Renaissance, people did not know how to draw things in three dimensions. Everything was two-dimensional. And so Piero della Francesca was one of those people who helped to figure this stuff out. Um, and so his friendship with Luca Pacioli, he was able to teach Luca Pacioli everything he knew about perspective and three dimensions and what that means. And so Luca Pacioli then continued his own studies in mathematics and was able to take that knowledge about three dimensions and perspective. But the connection doesn't end there because later in life, Luca Pacioli became friends with the artist Leonardo da Vinci. And in fact, Luca Pacioli is the person who taught Leonardo da Vinci math. And they became such good friends that actually the two collaborated on some books together. So why is the art connection important? Well, if you're an accountant, you know how we do accounting today is in a very structured framework. 
And it's structured in very much the same way that three-dimensional painting is a very structured framework. Accountants have to think across the dimension of time because we're representing our financial statement in terms of annual financial statements. So just like three-dimensional painters are trying to depict the real world in an accurate way, accountants are also trying to depict the business world in an accurate way. And so I can see the influence in Luca Pacioli's writing on accounting from his relationships with the great artists of the Renaissance. The second insight is that Luca Pacioli shows that accounting is not just a set of rules, it is a purpose. I really appreciate this approach because he's not just telling you how to do things, he explains to you why you're doing it. So I want to read you a couple of quotes from his writing. And here's a quote that says, If you are in business and do not know all about it, your money will go like flies. That is, you will lose it. And here's another quote. Where there is no order, there is confusion. So what Luca Pacioli does is he doesn't just set out a set of steps on how to do accounting. He spends time talking about the goal of accounting, which is if you don't keep track of your money, you're going to lose it. The third insight is that Luca Pacioli shows how accounting fits into the larger context of business. In his writing about double entry bookkeeping, Luca Pacioli talks about more than just accounting. He talks about topics in corporate finance. He talks about banking. And so he's talking about this larger context of business. One of the things that really surprised me was he talked about the rule of 72. And if you know about corporate finance, the rule of 72 has to deal with um, investing and calculating out interest. And so it's shocking that he even knew what the rule of 72 was, but it shows that he's thinking about more than just accounting. He's thinking about the broader context of business and using accounting to help you make business decisions. The fourth insight is something that Luca Pacioli is very blunt about. And it's that accounting is hard work. It's interesting how many times he mentions this. So he talks about the typical day of a merchant. And what he suggests is that merchants should spend time in the evenings before they go to bed reviewing their accounts. So it sounds a lot like he's describing a 12 hour workday for business owners. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he mentions a number of times about you need to work hard and don't be lazy. And he comes back to this idea. So from Luca Pacioli's perspective, accounting wasn't designed to make your life easier. Accounting was designed to make your life harder. But the value of all of this hard work was that it ends up uh, helping you make better business decisions. And that is how all of this hard work creates value. The fifth insight is that Luca Pacioli thought of accounting as a reflection of your character. This was the most shocking insight for me. So Luca Pacioli talks a lot about ethics and he gives you practical advice, um, saying things like, don't keep two sets of books. Um, but he talks about more than just that practical advice. He talks about accounting as a reflection of who you are as a person. So if you keep well-organized, accurate books, that is a reflection of your character. And when you're giving your financial statements to someone, what you're doing is you're telling this person, this is who I am. This is how I do business. So from Luca Pacioli's perspective, how you do accounting says a lot about who you are as a person. The sixth and final insight is that Luca Pacioli wrote five books. I think it's always useful to think about somebody's writing in the context of their greater body of work. You have to remember that writing a book in the Renaissance was not like it is writing a book today. So today you can sit at your computer 
and type away. And if you want to delete something, you hit backspace. If you want to print it out, you can hit the print button. That's not what writing a book was like in the Renaissance. So you had to write out your draft by hand, and then you would take that to a printing shop and they would print it on a primitive printing machine and they would print out one page at a time. Printing a book was a major life commitment. And so you didn't write a book unless it was on a topic that you felt strongly about. So when you look at these five books that Luca Pacioli wrote, I think it says a lot about his mindset and his perspective on the world. Um, so let's look at the five books. He wrote a math textbook. He wrote his book on double entry bookkeeping. And this was actually just a section in a larger book on math. He wrote a book about the golden ratio. And this was a book about art, but it also talks about science and math and how the golden ratio is a connection between these ideas. He wrote a book about chess and the rules of chess and the strategy of chess. And then he wrote a book about magic. And this was a book about sleight of hand and card tricks and how to perform magic tricks. When I read Luca Pacioli's writing, I get a bigger appreciation for how to do accounting because I can see his personality in how we do accounting today. What you realize is that accounting is a little bit of math, a little bit of business, a little bit of art, a little bit of strategy, and a little bit of magic. Another thing that's important to understand here is that when Luca Pacioli published this book, he was 49 years old. So he had already had a career as an accountant, um, working in one of the busiest economies in the world. And so he was able to bring all of that experience into this book. Double entry bookkeeping was an incredible innovation that was so effective, it is still how we do accounting to this day. And that is why Luca Pacioli is known as the father of accounting. The key takeaway here is that accounting didn't come about by somebody sitting in a back room somewhere writing down financial entries. The father of accounting spent his life traveling across Italy hanging out with the great artists, being fully engaged in the business revolution of his time, becoming a best-selling author, and going from poverty to success. This is the origins of modern accounting. And what you start to realize when you learn about this stuff is that accounting has had a really exciting past and is going to have an exciting future as well. If this was the first time you heard about Luca Pacioli, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, click on the subscribe button. The best way to supercharge a business is through accounting and corporate finance. And I release a new video every week. So come back and check out next week's video.